different than the mothers. It's not the same DNA as the mothers. It's a different strand. They could actually, you know, do this to it and grab its DNA and say, yeah, that's different than the mother and the father. So life begins at conception. There, I mean, it, all science believes that. All science. Like, there's no science books out there that says life begins. But I don't see why you pick and choose when to use science in your argument. That's that's fair. Because science is from God. Well, you know that science would science never have... doesn't point to God existing, so... Yes, it does? Well, actually, yeah, yeah it, it, it 100% does. You think the theory <laughs> of evolution? They call it uh, theory for a reason, Oh, like right? the theory of gravity? That's, yeah. <laughs> okay, is gravity a law? Yes. Okay. So does it make more sense? It's not a law, it is a law. Okay, we got two things here. So does it make more sense that a law comes from a non-law or a law comes from a lawgiver? Can you have a legis... It comes from a theory after you test the theory. No, that's not, that not, that's not answering the question. I mean, what's the origin? Science is the search for causes, right? So the law of causality, for example. Science exists. That's well, that true. just says something. Okay, well, I exist. That, that, that's just exactly. stating... You exist, I exist. Yeah, but that's not saying why. To me that well, this exists. is not... The Bible says saying, you know God exists already. The no, Bible says you know God exists. He right. says that yeah, you suppress the truth okay. in unrighteousness. Yeah. Voldemort exists. <laughs> okay, yeah, so it's either ha Harry Potter or the Bible, right? Yeah, they're both fictional they're stories. Both, both yeah, fictional agree, stories. Yeah. Okay, sure. So without the biblical standard, okay, without truth outside of man, then law just comes from what? Culture? Comes from what we believe. It, who's what? be good people without... How do you define God? good without an outside standard? It's our socially agreed upon what... Is yeah. socially acceptable. Okay, so whose who's culture, whose society? We're living in the United States, our society. Okay, so whatever the, our society says is good is good? The caste system in India, it's good. They say that's good. We don't say it's good, but it's practiced there, and for a while it wasn't separate. So it's not, it's not wrong and it's not evil. See, according to your worldview, because... Just because, because we perspective. believe something doesn't okay. mean it's right. We grow and we evolve into better humans. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying is that you have no standard outside of individuality or in, outside of culture to measure right or wrong. Everything, just like, you know, like Richard Dawkins says, he's like an Oxford biologist. He would take your position. But he's actually consistent in his ideology sometimes. He said, we're just DNA and we just dance to our DNA. There's no good. There's no evil. But you just said good. Okay, so two minutes ago, you just said we ought to do good, right? That there are, that there's saying, good. I'm saying people. And now you're saying there's no such God. thing as good. Do you see how fast that, that dis disintegrates? Do things that Christians believe is good without having. Of course, but does that disprove that God? God? How does that disprove God, though? No, I'm saying God. Don't no, yeah. don't no, disprove no, God. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Why, why is atheism the default standard? Why is that? It isn't. Okay, so science force points towards. No, 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 science itself could not have arisen in the atheistic framework. All these scientists had a theistic worldview because okay, they believed and in. And they realized that that, that was wrong. Okay. Yeah. No, but okay, so science you're itself. To put into a box. So uh, science. Once you believe something, yeah. you can never not believe this thing again. Okay, you just believed two seconds ago that there was something called good. Now you say that there's nothing there's called a good. Socially agreed upon good. Okay, so it's qu so qualified. But there's no objective good. Sure. In other words, like if I it took all, a two based on perspective. Hold on now. If I took a two year old kid and slammed his head against the ground, that's not objectively evil and wrong. Our society decides it's wrong, but if another society that I was in, the majority opinion said that's right, then it's right. In that society then Then it's, it would have to be right. right and good. Do you see the problem here? So you have no chance if whatever whatever you feel passionate about. Whatever worldview, whatever cause, racism, social injustice, the 1%, whatever you feel is evil, you have no standard outside of yourself to actually appeal to. All you have is you and your culture. But if your culture, which is just made up of a lot of different units of you, decide that it's good, then it's good and it becomes an issue at the ballot box. Let me give you one statement that you should always remember. Listen, and I appreciate y'all being out here. I'm sorry for being harsh, but I got two minutes with y'all and they inculcate you with this secular humanism every single freaking day. The view that man gets to decide what is right and wrong. Without truth, there is only power and there is only control. If there is no truth, if there is no moral law, if there is no standard outside of individuality and outside of culture, all you will have is people deciding what's right and what is wrong based on majority opinion or in sometimes minority opinion with military force. That is the history of man without God. If you look past 150 years, the ideology that placed man at the center and that ruled out God because of science. You know what, you know what Joseph Stalin called his ideology? What's that? Scientific socialism. 
scientific socialism because science has disproved God and we just need to make a perfect society. All we need to do is to get these people to cooperate with what is going on in terms of what we feel is right in society, what we feel is fair. And as a result, 60 million, 60 million at the, at the low number at the low number in their society were carted off and perished and died in famines and that's not in counting scourges in Eastern Europe and things like that. And you have no standard to say that's wrong. You have to say Joseph Stalin, what he did was right for him. And those people died in a, in a way that it lines up with their culture. Do you receive that? Okay, do, so no, that's, justifying, that's justifying abortion, you're saying it's Joseph Stalin's murder of you said 60 million, correct? Well, it's actually more close. Communism itself, the scientific socialistic view was over 100 million in the past 120 so years. Million. Yeah, if and you take Mao, Joe... Ju that justifies this. Okay, hold on. You didn't answer what I... That's called a red herring. So what you're doing right now... And I, we're, we're totally justified in being here. If, if abortion is wrong... You know we if don't a, have any abortions in this school. Sure right? you do. Positive, sure you do. Absolutely. You're yeah, you're yeah, like yeah. I, you're, you're, so you're saying that you're saying that, that in high schools. Oh, you're saying this school. Oh yeah, I don't know specifically. You're saying that nobody's at risk for murdering their child here. No, I'm saying not murdering a child. You're here. Not, okay, hold on. On what standard is it not murdering a child? Your opinion? We know what you think of it. It's just your opinion, right? You're for remember, your ancestors are fish. There's no designer. It's just your opinion, right? So there's nothing to appeal to. Okay, so us being out here. Is it, if we say it's right according to your worldview, it's I just right. Don't, you can have your opinion. I respect your opinion. Yeah. You can be pro life. I'm, I'm not, not pro life. I, I'm an abolitionist. Okay. The pro life movement's actually the problem. Okay, fine. You're yeah. an abolitionist. Yeah. All right. I, and I, I'll, I, I'd love to explain the difference. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. I respect that. And, you know, it's good to have conversation. But I just don't think that being in front of a high school is just really the place for it right now as people are trying to. Yeah, yeah, I mean, get I, things yeah, done. Absolutely. I, so you understand, you understand that your opinion is just your opinion, right? And your opinion is just your okay. opinion. Absolutely yeah. not. Absolutely not, because I can appeal to a standard. So I my stand, yeah. So so you, but, but you can. You, now that we go back to this cycle here. So just either there that you believe in God, you don't have opinions anymore. No, no, no. It, it has fact? no. That has nothing to do with it. I could be completely wrong in believing in an absolute standard. Mm -hmm. 100%. I could be wrong. The, the, the standard, yeah, okay. So the, And I am wrong about a ton of stuff too, right? Nobody, I mean, if what, am I, I'm sitting here like the beacon of all perfection? I'm saying, you have to base your argument, okay, in, in, with logical consistency. So you have rejected an outside standard of truth. You say truth comes from individual or culture. Now that's called, there's a, there's a philosophical term for it. Individually defined moral relativism and culturally defined moral relativism. Both of those do not provide a standard to actually say something is objectively wrong. Objectively mean, means wrong even if everyone in the world thought it was right. So it's wrong to rape and murder a two-year-old even if everyone in the world thought it's right, it all of a sudden does not become right. According to your worldview, you have to say no. It then becomes right. There's nuance to it. I'm glad you brought up rape. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Um, so see how we jump around here? Like I, we can't. And I, I, I'd love to answer the rape question. Mm -hmm. But do you see how we continue to jump around? We can't. So you admit I have no objective standard. I can never call anything wrong or right past okay, past I just admit relative opinion. Is, is no, 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 no. I didn't. I didn't discount nuance. That's called an either or argument. No, that's not, an I'm either or that argument. There can be nuance, and there can also be. Black and white. There are things that society oh. agrees that people are. You know that it's objectively yeah. wrong. That I, I don't think. I feel like you're creating a situation of everyone believes something okay. is wrong and something is right. You, you, you understand that that's not even close to what I did. And I have the whole thing recorded right now going through the video and anyone can see that I'm appealing to a standard. Okay, I'm saying that you cannot have... Sorry, I feel like good. Hold on, I feel like you cannot... I, what I'm, what I'm t saying is not what, what I feel is true or what you feel is true. I'm stating a fact. The fact is that if you deny God, if you deny an outside standard of morality, all you have is opinion. Outside, and so therefore... You're holding God as an outside standard. The outside and inside, yeah. By yeah. God knows how many monarchs who deemed it, who deemed it, this is my opinion or this is how I want to... You're deeming that as the outside standard? That the, uh, you're deeming that as the objective outside standard? If there is no standard your, for morality... This is real simple now. If there is no standard for morality outside individual or outside of culture... I don't understand at all. What if I believed yeah. in a different God than you? 
then we would then we would compare the worldview and see which one is true. Like for example, like Islam will teach that God is completely separate. In that, in other words, that he's transcendent. In a, but he's not imminent. He's not close. The Christian God is close and transcendent. So we can look at philosophical terms. Like if you believe in love, for example, like that's why love in Islam is such a uh, uh, such a kind of distant term because love is the giving of oneself for the benefit of another. So in other words, if I exist only as myself, but there's no plurality in my nature, then there is no such thing as love because love is the sacrificing of oneself for the benefit of another. So that's how, uh oh, <laughs> appreciate it. Yeah. So that's how we would, so we would compare, we would say, if you believe in love and everyone believe, everyone likes love, right? Everyone talks about love, 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 love. If you believe in love, then you can't say that there's a, there's a view in Islam that says God is singular, right? And there's a view in Christianity that says God is plural. Okay, so the Christian God can be love before creation. You see that? Because there's a plurality and a singularity. It, it, it kind of blows our minds, but at the same point in time, matter, energy, space, and time from no prior existing materials, that's pretty difficult too. So, God being a plurality, if God's a plurality, he can be loved before the creation. But if God is not a plurality, he can't be loved, therefore he needs to create to become love or he's not love at all. So that's how we would take, like we would do a, compa we would do a comparison and we'd see which one lines up with reality. That's how we do kind of compar comparing worldviews and see what's correct. Like for example, atheism. We can test atheism against the Christian worldview too. Atheism is the scientifically embraced view of, you know, secular humanism in schools. You even said it yourself, in the scientific community and everything like that. But atheism says that our ancestors were fish. Atheism says that nothing exploded, nothing, no thing at all. Now what nothing is, is what rocks dream about. That's what, that's what nothing is. It's what rocks dream about. Nothing. It's nothing. It's not, it's not, gra it's not gravity. It's nothing. Nothing is what rocks dream about. So nothing exploded. And then all of a sudden, all we have, we have matter, energy, space, and time. A universe that expands at a rate that's more precise than one part in 10 to the 180th power. You change that at all, no stars form, no stars form, you have no helium, you have no hydrogen. Y'all take science, right? Okay, cool. So we're saying nothing creates that and then has this level of design in it, but it's nothing at all. It's nothing. Nothing is behind it whatsoever. That's what atheism says. And then all of a sudden, we burbled up from a goo and we, we, we went from a single-celled organism, which is more complex than a factory. We went from a single-celled organism, yeah, mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, nuclear, you know what I mean? All of a sudden, with no prior information, we get information from non-information, right? Information comes from non-information, and then that information mutates over a period of a whole long period of time, and then all of a sudden they become fish, and then the fish grow into different animals, and then all of a sudden we're here talking about concepts like love, justice, evil, right, and wrong. Now that, if you believe that, that takes way more faith than believing that there is a mind behind the mechanism. That's true. Who is the one that's been discussing more proof here, me or you? You're talking about all these ideas about standard and stuff. You're not speaking on scientific facts. I just, didn't I just speak on scientific facts? The scientific yeah, facts are not your problem, bro. The